That was great! Excellent! Woo! What a rush! I haven't felt this great in a long, long time. He disappeared! But he looked pretty content at the end there. Huh. Well, Paimon sure is confused. Do you know what that was all about? Ah, we can talk about it later. They're about to wake up. <coughs> what am I doing here? Yohei? Yohei, is that you? Shingo, are you alright? Yohei, I had the weirdest dream. I dreamed that I wasn't a useless loser with a sword anymore. I even beat one of Dolmon's disciples. I thought we could finally open a dojo of our own now. But then I realized I couldn't control my own body. And there was this voice in my ear talking to me constantly. I was terrified and I wanted to take control of my body back, but I couldn't. And the voice kept talking about manliness. Shingo, we shouldn't have made that wish. We summoned a spirit and it possessed you. Yes. And had we not come to your rescue, your life would have been over before too much longer. Then the spirit would have haunted your brother until he died of fatigue, too. Thank you, Lady Guji, and thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. All right, take him to get some rest. He's very weak right now, having been possessed for quite a few days. He will experience a high fever, but it won't be fatal. Remember... This is the price you pay. At this point, I would normally lecture you on the dire consequences of using occult methods to obtain power that does not belong to you. But I think you get the picture now, don't you? Yes, we understand now. We won't do it ever again. Thank you, Lady Guji. Thank you, exorcists. We'll be on our way then. Come on, Shingo. Would they really have lost their lives if we hadn't gotten involved? And if so, why the heck were you so reluctant to help out? Ugh, they would have been fine. I had to scare them a little, though. Otherwise, I hardly think these two lazy rascals would have learned their lesson. So, what was it that possessed Shingo? You saw it all for yourselves. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of spirit had possessed him, can't you? Ah! Paimon's got it! It was an omen. Correct. Although it possessed Chingo, it didn't have any ill intentions. As a matter of fact, it actually seemed like it was trying to train Chingo to become bolder. Huh. Fair enough. But it seems like it had the opposite effect. Tossing salt caused it to temporarily leave Shingo's body. Then, you exhausted its strength by fighting it, so it disappeared. Even if we'd done nothing at all, Shingo would have eventually become too weak for his body to host the spirit, and it would have left of its own accord. Of course, it would have been more stressful for Shingo and Yohei that way. <laughs> Still, the experience may ultimately have been more effective than me scaring them into submission with a little exaggeration. Whew. Well, the main thing is that nobody got hurt. All right. Seems like we've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Hold on, Miko. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book. Yes, I know the one. Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. Incantations seem really popular right now. Human beings don't have powers like us yokai. It's quite understandable for them to be interested in incantations to summon the supernatural. That's not the point! 
the problem is that the incantations in the book are actually capable of summoning spirits and stuff. And loads of people are trying it. <sighs> Even then, humans only have so much strength. Even if they do successfully summon a spirit with the incantation, it won't stay with them for very long. I really wouldn't fret about it. But who wrote this book? And why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? What do you think, Traveler? You're right. Big events in the light novel market should be at the center of her attention, surely. But she doesn't seem to care about this book at all. <sighs> Lady Yai, I finally found you. Kuroda, what are you doing here? I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please, take a look. Let me see. What? We're losing market share? Yes. Overall bestseller, reader's favorite, and trending ranking. We're being beaten in all categories. One book is topping the charts. It's called A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Both of you, back here now. Nico, what is it? You have a really scary look on your face right now. <sighs> Things just got serious. A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is an all-round hit, summarily beating the novels of the Yai Publishing House by every analysis. Just what is that supposed to mean? I worked extremely hard to promote our latest featured work, and now a rival book comes out of nowhere and steals our thunder. If this isn't the very definition of intolerable, I don't know what is. I have to come up with a counterplan. And you are going to help me. Huh? How is this our problem all of a sudden? Paimon, please. Who wrote this book and why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? Oh, am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your eyes after all? Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on. We're going to war. I'm going to head back and make some preparations. Meet me outside the Yai Publishing House. Say, why don't you write out your story and submit it to Yai Publishing House? I'm sure that would keep me amused. Ahem, <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure it would be a bestseller. We're here. So what's your plan of action to deal with this rival book? Hmm. Why don't you take a guess? I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the Yai Publishing House. Mm. Oh, Paimon knows! Combine the reputation of the Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous! Oh, wow! Your first guess, and you got it absolutely... wrong. Yeah! Oh, uh, wait! Seriously? That wasn't it? A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggested, we would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. In bending over backwards trying to warn everyone about the dangers, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. Also, sales for the book would only increase further. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. Hmm. Oh, how about we confiscate all the copies? <sighs> Leaving aside the issue of the enormous manpower and resources such an operation would require, Going to such lengths over a light novel would be extremely disruptive to the lives of Inazumans. But that means there's nothing we can do! Well, I've been thinking. 
I've read a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. It has many other good qualities besides the incantations alone. The book contains many ancient kaiden, or tales of the supernatural, and is written in a very engaging way. That is why the book has become so popular. Hmm... I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. That's right. How do you get rid of the next big thing? You replace it with the next, next big thing. So what we're going to do is create Inazuma's newest hit novel. Smash our rival sales numbers and win our readers back. That is how Yaimiko wages war. Incidentally, this will also be the best way to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Wait, Miko! So, you want us to write a novel? <laughs> well, becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an overnight process. But let's not forget that I am the chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. I have my ways. I did say this is what we're going to do. I trust that the word teamwork is in your vocabulary. Anyway, there is a writer submission event going on at the moment. Start by talking to readers and finding out what they're into. When you have an idea of what the current trends are, come back and see me. I'll be at Uyu Restaurant. Find me there when you're done. I will assemble a team, and we can work while we eat. The key to a successful light novel is having good illustrations. When to use illustrations, what they should contain, and which artists you should commission for them. These are all key things to bear in mind. Good illustrations can make up for bad writing. But on the flip side, a bad illustration can ruin your novel, even if you have the best story in the world. There's a saying that light novels are essentially a case of buy art, get words free. I'd agree with that. Too bad most of the top artists have jam-packed schedules, so it's extremely difficult to commission them. The illustrations in A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits are incredible, but it's unlike any art style I've ever seen before. I've been reading light novels for a long time now. I'm mainly into big, ambitious fantasy works with an original core concept and good storytelling. These days, though, everyone seems to be imitating each other. Most of the time, I can guess what the story is about just from the title. The only recent book worth mentioning is A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Not only is it a good story, but the descriptions are really true to life. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. I'll be honest. I read light novels for the cheap thrills. In most traditional stories, the protagonist usually has this long and drawn-out character arc, usually involving a process of separation, loss, and ultimately growth and renewed strength. It reads well and everything, it's just a little slow-paced for me. By contrast, there's this popular light novel at the moment called A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits where the protagonist is super strong right from the get-go. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. Action-packed right from page one. The protagonist is a kitsune who has not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also tea ceremony, painting, and calligraphy. There's much more to light novels than Paimon realized. <sighs> Let's go tell our findings to Yaimiko. There you are. Let me introduce the team. You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. 
Shigeru is an experienced editor, and Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment, but all his past works have been very popular with young people. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first-hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? Uh-huh. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> now then, tell me what you found out about readers' preferences. Hmm, all very true. An original core concept, a fast pace, quality illustrations, and lots of action. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. More importantly than that, even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. Paimon followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually going to write about? For example, we know we need an original core concept, but how do we come up with one? <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, for example. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the kitsune, but to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. As a traveler, there must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to them. Oh, right! So maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Monsta and Lila! Hmm... That would make it a completely different genre than a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. Maximum of ten points, I'd give that a nine. Is there really flying emergency food in other worlds? How does it taste? And how do you cook it? It's a strong opening. An easy way to grab the reader's attention. Never underestimate the appeal of culinary-oriented subject matter. Food, after all, is a topic that everyone is interested in. Hmm, good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. I think you really understand what we're trying to do here. Thoughts from the experts? Are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with Chapter 1. Let's move on to Chapter 2. Huh? Won't that do for now? Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Hurry, Chapter 2, let's go. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? Hmm? Huh? What's 
What's wrong with you? You don't look so good. Hmm, what a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas, the time has come prematurely. Before it came to what? What's happened? The bane of our existence. Writer's block. It's your arch nemesis for life, appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the writer. They sell their souls just to get their muse back. Sounds awful! When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. <clears throat> uh, boss, get me a plate of fried tofu and get some kushikatsu for these two. Just the basic kind will do. Don't worry, this is my treat. Your treat? Oh, wait a minute. Miko, we'll be getting paid for all the hard work we're doing, right? Of course. Everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid. Alright, cool. Then let's press on, shall we? Don't give up now! For the sake of our paycheck, get your brain going! Ooh! Ooh! Does this mean your inspirations come back? and befriends a young man who doesn't have the money to pay for anything. Only later do we find out that this young man is none other than Rex Lapis himself. With the help of the Chishing and the protection of the Adepti, I am free to roam this vast realm. Hmm. Is this the kind of cheap thrill that that guy was talking about? Hmm. I give it a 9.8. The story is fun and action-packed with no dark undertones. Also, there are a great many legends about Rex Lapis. I'm sure it will spark the people's curiosity. I, for one, think there's a sizable market for this. Approved. Alright, well, let's just hope Zhang Li doesn't mind. Great. Well, now Satomi can get started on that. Leave it to me, Lady Yai. Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> 